Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me, I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sensuous, juicy, soul-stirring, provocative, mythological love story about human evolution. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess oracle deck that I am going to use today to give you a message from your inner Leo the Lion. Yes, for the month of August, your inner Leo the Lion is going to give you some inspiration, darling. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling. If you selected the brown and beige divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner Leo the Lion. So first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner Leo the Lion Child is sometimes love means letting go. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is listen to your heart. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you from your inner Leo the Lion Child is discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. And the last card I have for you from your Leo the Lion for the month of August 2020 
Their message is, is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? So what is coming to me from your inner Leo lion? I don't know if you've seen um, Lion King before, because if not, maybe this. In Lion King, Simba lost his dad, and I hope I hope I didn't spoil it. <laughs> and he went through a period where he was basking in joy and fun and bliss, and he was having a really good time with his friends. And he was just really, you know, just really healing his heart and his soul. Your primary message is that through joy and bliss, this is going to give you an opportunity to have clarity. So whatever it is that if you're in a state of confusion, the cards are saying that um, you need to listen to your heart. And in listening to your heart, you have heart. You have two cards from Dragon Beauty Goddess Kalahari which means that you are surrounded in unconditional love by the universe right now but you are being asked to step into your glory you're being asked to really look within your heart this is a good time for you to to let go of the past to let go and you know the thing that was interesting was that if you haven't seen lion king but basically even though he was having a good time with his friends he had a higher calling you know, there was something else that he really needed to do with his life. And he need, and, and let me just say this. Letting go is not a negative thing. Sometimes letting go of something, it means we have to have confidence that something better is coming. So, you know, you may have to let go of your old friends because maybe you go off to college. Or you have to let go of your family because you just got married. Sometimes you have to let go of your old buddies at an old job because you have taken on a new position. But that's the energy that I'm picking up from your hand. That in letting go, you are not losing anything. You are moving into something bigger. So for the month of August 2020, if there are opportunities, if opportunities become available to you to move into a management position, a supervisor position, a better job becomes available, like keep your eyes open for opportunities to grow. Um, you are being asked to change your perception. The way you see the world is the way you experience the world. And sometimes the way um, maybe we have been, our judgment or our perception has been clouded by previous failures or things that have happened to us that we just and now we're just a little gun shy about moving forward and we don't we want to take this chance so we kind of stay here no don't do that like if an opportunity becomes available to you to move forward take this opportunity it is a good time for you but it's also a good time for you to change how you see the world because sometimes people think the world is against them but they really don't understand that they are holding on to a lot of pain from the past that is preventing them from moving forward. So um, listen to your heart and you know think about what it is you want, where you want to go, wh where are you right now. But you're also being asked to think about what brings you bliss. Let me just say this. In a state of bliss, like in The Lion King, when he was having a really good time with the, I think it was like a, a, a hog or something, <laughs> with, with his little friends. In that state of bliss, he was able to find clarity. So one of the things you're being asked to do is to bask in bliss so that you are able to see clearly. And I'm going to tell you um, the way to bask in bliss, at least for me personally, the next time you drink a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a first of soda or a pot whatever I want you to really savor it like you like it was the first time you ever had it in your life when you take a shower really smell your shower gel your soap sometimes we just take life for granted we stop tasting our food we stop smelling things we stop seeing things I want you to look at the things in your life and pretend this was the first time that you that you were looking at it or the first time you were experiencing it giving yourself um really opening up your senses to your environment and to what you are consuming like when you eat don't just gobble it down i don't care if it's a bowl of cheerios don't gobble anything down for the next 30 days i want you to be completely present i want you to 
enjoy the moment and to allow, you know, you're not going to be able to see what's new if you are not completely present in the moment. So being present in the moment, I mean like 100%, that is going to give you so much pleasure and so much joy. You're going to start to see and experience the world in a different way. And this is going to give you clarity to help you be able to um, seize new opportunities, to see new opportunities. Um, this is a really good time for you to, like I said, to, you know, fluff your mane down. You know, your Leo the Lion wants you to fluff your mane and wants you to step into your divine purpose. So you have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, which says, discover what you do better than most. And this is, let me just get it in focus here. Um, discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. So if you, listen. I know that people will say, well, don't, you know, don't do this or don't do that. You're not going to make money. It's going to be difficult. This, mm -mm, you can't listen to that because you have to listen to your heart, right? You got to listen to your heart right now. If your heart is telling you, I want to go back to school to be a dentist. I want to um, start a YouTube channel. I want to paint. Whatever your heart is telling you to do, whatever you're being pulled to do, you really, really, really need to focus on that. So now I'm going to give you a message from your skull obsidian being. Um, <clears throat> and it's a very brief message. And I'm going to read it to you because sometimes when I'm doing things on camera, child, it just takes forever for the message to download. So it's, your message from your skull alien being is... Don't be afraid to shine and leave what you know behind. Don't be afraid to shine and leave what you know behind. The reason most people avoid using their gifts is because they feel deep down inside they don't deserve them and that they are not worthy of the fanfare and attention. Your inner Leo the Lion is about attention. It's about stepping into your rightful place. They think that they are not as good as others. You came here with a gift that is only for you. There's a place for you that no one can fill those shoes. It belongs to you, but you need to feel confident to step into that position. Your inner lion wants you to roar loud enough for everyone to hear. The stage is yours. All eyes are on you. That is the message I have for you from your inner lion, from your skull alien, no, that's not alien, your skull being. Darling, you are worthy of love. Love reveals, it shows us what we need to see, and love heals. So we can move beyond what, what is no longer serving us. Letting go is not a, a bad thing. Have confidence that something better is coming into your life. Someone listening to this reading need to rise above relationship issues or current issues on the job. Grow spiritually, find clarity. This would give you the ability to seize new opportunities effortlessly. Changing the very way you think about certain situations could be standing between you and greatness change the way you think about certain situations sometimes our mind plays games and our perception can be wrong if you feel there is a lack of clarity and direction in your life the way you are thinking or what you are focusing on go beyond any limits you have set for yourself the way you see the world is the way you will experience the world Opportunities are moving in your direction, darling, but they will only open up for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them and seize them. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. 
If you selected the pink and black divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner Leo the Lion. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Father Dematter. And Dematter's message to you is by any means necessary. Ooh, one of my favorite cards, y'all. The next, oh, you can pull in some strong energy tonight. You have another card by the matter. And it says, this is like the raw creative energy from the universe. His message to you is, assert your divine power. Mm -mm -mm. Man, whatever you have planned, if I were you, I'd be rocking that out right now. The next card I have from you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra, earth energy, our ability to manifest our body, our soul mission. She says, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you from your inner lion for the month of August 2020 is, your soul signed up for this mission on earth, find the lesson to help you evolve. Child, where do I start? Where do I start? I'm so excited about your hand. So basically, let's just start with the last card. Your soul signed up for this mission on earth, find the lessons to help you evolve. So what is coming to me is that you were born with everything you need to be successful for your earth mission. Your family, your experience, your background, everything about you was designed for you to push you forward, upward and onward into your dreams, right? But sometimes we don't, we feel stuck, but the cars are telling me that your test is your testimony okay your glory is your story your like whatever is going on in your life whatever obstacles or challenges that are in your life right now those are the stepping stools those are the, the steps upward that, that is what you are going to it is the platform for your success do you understand what i'm saying so whatever your obstacles are that is your platform. Those are your steps to your dream. Those, ooh. So, this is what I want you to do. Whatever situation that you're in right now, I like for you to imagine that you are writing your life story. And 20, let's say 50 years from now, someone is going to be watching, excuse me, your biography. And you want them to leave that movie theater in tears from sheer inspiration i want you to imagine that somebody is hurting or going through something and they're going to see your movie and they're going to rock it out because you because you will have will have expired inspired them to greatness does that make sense so um right now whatever is going on now, I know you're thinking, like, if I could think of what to do, I would have done it, right? But check this out. One of the first things you have to do is break your patterns. Like, whatever patterns that you have in your life right now that are holding you and, you know, holding you back, holding, you know, maybe you keep making the same mistakes or maybe you feel stuck, you're going to have to move into uncharted territory. You're going to have to do something you've never done before. You're going to have to go someplace, child, that there's, there is no GPS off the Google Maps, off the, the you know, charted territory, off the beaten path. That's it. You're going to have to figure out what to do next. And you're going to have to trust the universe. You're going to have to trust that the your spirit guides, that your higher self is going to lead you to that greatness. And when you get off the beaten path, when you stop doing what has been done, stop doing the same things over and over again, listening to people, you are going to be um, absolutely one of the most powerful beings on this planet. I kid you not. 
everyone has this power, but most people don't use it because we you know we're all just trying to fit in. We just want to be liked, you know. We just want people to, you know, feel that we're normal and that we're not weird. But you know what? You're gonna to have to find that weird part of you. You're gonna to have to find that part of you that, um, yeah, that's so unique and so different. And you gotta be the hero in this story. You understand what I'm saying? Your card says a search your divine power. Divine power child and it's raw untapped potential and energy it is not the story of what has been done over and over and over again the matter says by any means necessary oh your hand is telling you to really have faith and to journey out into untapped territory to do something that has not been done to become oh my god you listen if I could talk to you individually, I know that everybody who's watching this video, there's something you want really, really bad. I don't care if it's a relationship, a job, money, whatever it is, it's something that you want. And I feel like your inner lion is like, look, we got this, but you know, this jungle over here is just that. It's a jungle, it's saturated, it's, it's dry, it's depleted. We need fresh grass we need fresh land we need to not go to the same watering hole okay you have a card from jungle beauty goddess katara it says is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future dna there are things you are doing right now in your life that are repelling your dreams and there are things you can do or are doing that is propelling your dreams you're repelling your dream if you are main staying in, in the same pattern. If you are participating in behaviors that, um, you know, soak up your time from doing things that really matter, like that video maybe you were going to make, or that book, or that song, or that going back to school, you know, those are things that repel your dreams. You understand what I'm saying? So you really need to look at yourself and say, I need to do something different because I want more out of life. But then there are things you do that propel your dreams, that propel you onward and upward, that move you forward in life. Like sometimes maybe watching, you know, um, these videos. There are videos that I watch, like um, You Are Creators. I love... Um, I love Jackie Anna. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it, she inspires me. Um, I, I love a good makeup video, believe it or not. Um, there are things that I watch that I, when I finish watching them, I just feel like, oh my, I feel enlightened or I feel lighter or I feel inspired. You know what I'm saying? So, but I only give myself, like I'll say, Sandy, you only have three videos for that today. You can only do two of this, you know. Um, long story short really look at yourself look at the patterns in your life are you doing your best the energy that i'm really picking up from your hand is that you're being really you're you're being beseeched darling beseeched by the universe to up your game to improve you're not you're not working at your full potential right now um you're kind of stuck in a pattern of trying a little bit feeling a little bit sorry for yourself giving up a little bit then doing a couple things and feeling like oh i did something the universe is telling you no by any means necessary so i think one of the things you need to do is really set a goal for yourself like something that's not too hard but something that is going to really make you stand up to your mission so let's just say for one week you say okay every day I am going to write one paragraph for every I'm going to put out three videos for 30 days I'm gonna tell you you're gonna to have to push yourself the universe the message that I'm getting from my guys is that you really need to try you're not you're not giving it your best okay so now I'm going to give you a message from your um, beautiful skull being that I wrote out here so that I can um, let's see what it says here if I can get this in focus it seems okay it says take take charge let me see here I don't know if you can really get a good look okay we're gonna go ahead and get started 
It says, take charge of your image and brand immediately. Be conscious about all of your media platforms. You are being watched. Every offer that comes your way is not in your best interest. Use your discernment. Don't share too much data about yourself. It is very important to have a certain level of mystique. Be very slow to open up to strangers. Give yourself enough time to see people's true intentions. It is time to announce your presence in the, in the world. It is time to roar. And I love that message. You, your hand, oh my God, I love your hand. Yes, so remember whatever obstacles or challenges you have in your life, they were put there to, to be the building blocks of the platform to greatness, okay? You are primed for greatness. It's all over you. This hand is so amazing. Assert your divine power. Child, you're so powerful. Don't keep doing what you've done before. It's just by any means necessary. Do you know what that means? You know, this reminds me of um, if you were a rapper selling your CD out the back, out the trunk of your car, by any means necessary. This means you can't, you're not waiting around for somebody to define you, somebody to give you a record deal, somebody to come. You, you, no, by any means necessary means that you should be doing everything yourself. You should be, yeah, get this is an excellent hand. I wish you the absolute best. Look for your opportunities in the month of August 2020, but look for them all the time. Your inner Leo the Lion child is roaring all Darling, over the place. Your inner lion needs you to roar and take your rightful role as leader by any means necessary. Do not shy away from the spotlight. You must raise your vibration immediately so that you are able to move freely. Be flexible in your thinking. The way out of old patterns is to enter into the unknown without maps or well-defined familiar paths. Let the universe guide you through unexpected twists and turns. Put your energy into what you want and not what you don't want. It is time for you, darling, to come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and bask in your glory with grace, dignity, and, majest and majesty. You are the king of the jungle. Fluff your mane, darling, and let, your, and let them hear you roar. Trust in all your gifts and talents. Stand in your power and make the most of this time. You were born to lead and this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in a leadership position. Retain your dignity, be proud of who you are and all that you have accomplished. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the cheetah blue, divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner Leo the lion for the month of August 2020. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you from your inner lion is 
mind your own affairs. It's always an interesting card. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner lion. Inner Leo the lion is how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. The next card I have for you is from Gamata Darling, who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, creator of all there is. And his message to you is truth is power. Mm -mm -mm. And the next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi and her message to you from your inner Leo lion is unapologetic unapologetically be yourself darling wow you have a very interesting hand so the first thing that pops in my in my mind about your um, hand is that let's see, you have the card that says mind your own affairs so are you really invested in and paying attention to how you feel about your life is this are you living the life that you imagine are you happy with your life the way it is is this who you really are when you look in that mirror child and the person is looking back at you do you know that person are you comfortable with that person are you happy with that person are you where you want to be because minding your own affairs and then you have the card that says truth is power i feel that you're the collective energy of your hand it's saying that you really need to look within your own soul and figure out who you are. And you need to be comfortable with the dark and dirty and hurtful and and good and bad and, just, and weak and strong and your flaws and your, you know, imperfections, your strengths, everything about you, you need to know yourself. And you need to accept yourself. You need to love yourself because that truth is your power. Knowing who you are is going to help you change the world and change your life. Um, how do you feel about it? Your feelings matter. Your feelings about yourself right now are the most important, mm, most important, it is the most important thing you need to work on at this juncture. This is the message that I'm getting from this particular hand that you need to like, um, be honest with yourself and say at the end of the month do you know where your money go do you know how much time you spend on social media do you know how much time you actually spend on what you want as opposed to what you um you know how you're actually spending your time you know what i'm saying you are are you aware of your triggers do you know like you are being asked your inner Leo the Lion for the month of August 2020 is really asking you to look within yourself, to explore yourself, get to know yourself. Because until you know yourself, where you've been, where you are now, and where you plan to go, it's like you're going to, you're going to feel stuck. So how do you feel about you? Not how you feel about other people. That's why you've been, you've been asked to really mind your affairs. Um... And once you, you know, come to terms with who you are and your likes and your dislikes and um, once you, you know, look at it within your own soul and you know that person in the mirror, your cards are saying to you unapologetically, unapologetically be yourself. Because self-reflection right now is the most important thing to you, for you. There is no power that is more important for you right now than self-awareness, um, self-love, self-acceptance, self-knowledge, okay? That is the message from your hand. Know yourself intricately. Stop, you know, you're not, you're not looking at other people's um, thoughts about you or you're not judging other people. But this is about you and how you feel about you. And now I have a message for you from your... Um, I think I used your... Oh, sorry. Your black quartz skull. And I'm going to... Oh, sorry. 
let me get this in focus here. I want to get it in focus. The message from your black quartz skull. And the message to you is make noise, surprise people, do what no one else is doing. Let the crowd find you. Don't chase. Before you attract the following, have a strong sense about who you are, where you are, where you've been, and where you're headed. It is so important for you to understand that not everyone is going to like you. This is why it is so important for you to know and love yourself unconditionally. Be ready to defend your ground. You are being guided to remove what no longer serves you from your life and turn your ideas into action and they will transcend beyond your expectations. As you detach, doors and opportunities will begin to open and something magnificent will emerge. So this is your message. You have a really good hand. Your hand is just all it's saying is that, you know, Focus on yourself. Your truth is your power. Don't forget this. The most important thing I want you to know is your truth and your feelings about yourself is your superpower. Knowing this is going to transform your life, darling, because you're being asked to unapologetically be yourself. And when you are unapologetically be yourself by being truthful with yourself your life is going to change aren't you excited i'm so happy Darling, for you you are being asked to stop giving your power and attention away to other people's projects and to look within your own heart and assess your feelings about your own life are you happy with the way things are developing in your life how do you feel about the current situation? Because the only feelings that truly matter right now about your life and your affairs are your own. You are being asked to be truthful with your life and yourself because truth is your only power because it is aligned with your higher self, your soul's mission and your purpose. This would give you the power, the strength and the courage to unapologetically be yourself. You are being asked to indulge in self-reflection and to know yourself. When you look in the mirror, who looks back? How do you view yourself? Do you see someone willing to step into a new identity? One more suited to the life you want for yourself. You are being asked to please, please darling. Love yourself in all your complexity. Whatever strengths you need are present. There is no power more potent than self-awareness. The process of self-transformation, the first step is self-observation. I just want to say this again. The process of self-transformation, in the process of self-transformation, the first step is self-observation. So we are all it works of progress as you engage in honest self-reflection you will start to see what you're overlooking your flaws and your weaknesses and your imperfections are all beautiful and they will paint a picture of you of this beautiful majestic being that you are I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.